Rain showers right now that are moving through areas of downtown Birmingham, they're starting to get a little bit lighter. This is our WBTM 13 live Doppler radar. And so if you're in Jasper, Tuscaloosa, Fay, it's probably not a big deal for you this morning. But hey, it's pouring down rain for Trustville, Leeds, Moody, Odenville, uh, Springville, too. Check out this 459 corridor. This is some heavy rain right now, folks. If you don't have to get on the road and uh, right around Old Rocky Ridge Road, Valleydale Road, 280, uh, Lake Purdy, this is getting a little bit closer to 119. So the 280 corridor in between 459 and 119 is drenched right now. Inverness Center Parkway visibility is likely very poor right now. It's coming in from the south and west and moving towards the north and east. And so this will cause some issues, certainly uh, some minor street flooding as the rain continues to move through the same areas. Upper 60s right now, still at 70 in Utah. This weekend, we're looking at the showers likely today. Uh, thunderstorms too. Temperatures get up to about 70 again, so pretty warm. But that colder air is just waiting in the wings, folks. Uh, the temperatures will drop significantly behind the rain that's in Arkansas. And so it's going to take some time for the cooler air to get here. But in between, we still do have a pretty warm day. So notice the showers here are pretty sporadic, but they're not covering up the entire state. Our rain chances will mainly impact you today. And then we do have higher rain chances again as we press towards Tuesday. So I like this future cast because it shows that most of this rain coming up from the south and west continues to track towards the north and east. It also shows the possibility for some rogue spotty thunder showers. So after the morning rain, don't ditch the umbrella. You still may need to utilize it for some showers and storms today in the afternoon. Rain continues to move southward, may even fill in after about 11 p.m. tonight. But then on Sunday, that cooler air starts to nudge its way in by the time we get towards Sunday evening. And so that's why the seven day forecast looks like such a flip flop between today and tomorrow with the showers and storms today impacting your afternoon. That cooler and clearing condition happening on Sunday afternoon.